Hello and welcome to the absolutely spectacular confines of PNC Field here in Scranton, Pennsylvania for the fourth annual Shane Rivenberg Memorial Tournament hosted by Baseball U Pennsylvania for game number two between Baseball U New York and the Go Yard Gators. For BFA Sports, I'm Al Fisher along with my brother from another Doug Stasek who's making his way in right now. And on the mound for Baseball U New York is Michael Flyzik, class of 22 rising junior at a Lime High School. Stands at six foot, 190 pounds. He's got a 94 GPA. His battery mate. I think I'm going to hazard a guess and think it's uh, A.J. Rothfeld. All right, the first batter stepping up for the Go Yard Gators. Is number nine, Jake Hendershot at a Bridgewater Raritan High School. Class of 21 rising senior. Fouls the first pitch off to the right side. Counters 0-1. Pitch fouled straight back. Tender shot quickly finds himself in an 0-2 hole. Tender shot at 5'10", 160. It's a 3.6 GPA. And a pitch fouled straight back again. So the count remains 0-2. We are in game number two of a four-game schedule for today and for tomorrow. Breaking ball, lifted to right field, falling quickly for a base hit. As Henner shot as a leadoff base runner here in the top of the first inning. A hey, good piece of hit and go down, put barrel on the ball, flare it out to right field, and get the party started. And I confirmed it's actually Wyatt Patchett behind Dish. That's Flyzik's battery mate. First pitch to Brian Dino at a Morris Kelly, Morris Catholic High School. Is oh, over for a strike call. Here goes the runner, swinging a miss. Here comes the throw, and it won't be in time. Hannah shot gets a great jump. Is Dino, I'm sorry, go ahead. He's Johnny on the spot. Dino, the rising senior, has a 3.97 GPA. Stands at 6'5", 220. Big young man. Ball lifted to center field. Getting it under his marsh, who makes the grab. For the first out of the inning. One down and a runner at second base. That will bring up number eight, and that is. Pitching number three, Michael Flyson. Aaron Santos. So Aaron Santos steps to the plate at a Bridgewater Raritan High School. Class of 21 rising senior is 5'960 pounds. Has a 3.8 GPA. As Flyzik chases back, Hendershot. Flyzik sets in the pitch. And he definitely offered, so count goes quick at 0-1 to Santos. And the 0 1 pitch. Swing and a miss on a nice pitch on the outside corner by Santos. 
81 miles an hour on the fastball. Good spot by Flyzik. Put that pitch in a tough area to hit. So count 0-2 to Santos. Again with a runner in scoring position at second base. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. So Santos goes down swinging, and here it is again. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Number 26 steps to the plate, and that is Tyler Dalshert at Hack Hackenstown High School. He's a center fielder, 5'6", 146 pounds. It's a 4.0 GPA in the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss on a fastball by Flyzik. He's dealing. That, that leather mitt is snapping in a real good way. Flyzik takes his sign from Patchett. Checks the runner in the pitch. Foul to the right field. First base side and out of play. So count quickly 0-2. Flyzik checks the runner in the pitch. Strike three, struck him out. So Flyzik had himself an inning. So he gets Dahlstert looking on a backwards K. And we will go to a break. Be back with the bottom of the first in a short few. All right, we're back here in the bottom of the first inning with Brian Dino on the mound for the Gators of Goyard. First batter he will face is number two, Anthony Lapine. Class of 21 rising seniors, a middle infielder and a pitcher. Stands at 5'10", 140 pounds. Has a 96 GPA and 1130 PSAT. And a big swing and a miss by Lapine. He's quickly down 0-2. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Fly ball lifted the center field, falling quickly, and it will fall safely for a base hit. Slapine so battles out of an 0-2 count, gets himself a base hit. His doll shirt sends it back to the infield. Now stepping to the plate, leadoff base runner is C.J. Levine at a C-square high school. 5'10", 165 pound. Rising Senior takes the first pitch over for a strike. Dino, the big six foot five, 220 pound lefty. Misses the zone there, so the count evens up at one and one. 
Dino once again at Amaris Catholic High School. Stands at 6'5", as I said. Has a 3.97 GPA. Count now, one and two. And the one-two pitch. Oh, nice breaking ball. Hit the third. A little trouble handling. Here comes the throw to first. But he does get him. So nice recovery by number 14, Nico Ong, to get the runner at first. Well, you got to square up with it and stay with it. And it's exactly what he did. Showed good patience there. And, you know, a lot of times over at third base, too many guys rush it. But that ball's getting up on them before anybody else. So you have that extra second, take the shuffle step, keep your calm. He did, and good play. Now steps to the plate. Adam Marsh with a runner at second base in scoring position. So he lifts one foul right behind us. Marsh at a Liverpool High School stands at 6'2", 185. Rising senior carries a 4.0 GPA. Here's the pitch. Outside for a ball. It's now one and two. Yeah, he's got that nasty less than three-quarter slot delivery here. But, man, it is something. Pitch lifted foul straight back and behind us. And the 0-2 pitch. Line drive. Oh. Snagged there by the first baseman. Comes over to second. And they're going to get the double play. And that will end this inning quickly. Nothing you can do about that. Hard line drive. That is what it is. We'll see if we can get a little quick replay on this. Lifted see foul guys straight did. back and behind us. Yeah, it took it back a little bit. Let's see what we got here. Got a break here in the action. Here's the line drive. Nicely snagged by the first baseman. Throws the second and gets him. So a three, six double play. We'll go to a break. Be right back. And we're back here in Scranton, Pennsylvania at PNC Field as we move to the top of the second inning. Some Gators come to the plate to face pitcher Michael Flyzik at the Baseball Union New York. The first batter Flyzik will face is Nico Ong. Takes one off the shoulder out of Bloomfield High School. Gets himself a free pass to first base. That'll bring up number 17, Ethan Leon, the six foot, 385 pound rising junior. As a pitcher, first baseman, and catcher. 
Carries a 3.95 GPA. Zong takes his lead at first base. Flyzik checks him and chases him back. Flyzik sets and the pitch. Fastball over first strike called. Again, Leon carrying a 3.95 GPA. Flyzik chases him back. A close play at first base, but in time. As he's keeping on, on his toes over there at first. There he goes. The ball's fouled to the first base side and out of play, so Ong will have to return to first base. Count now 0 and 2 to Ethan Leon. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Breaking ball just misses. Ooh. Didn't miss by much for sure. So the count now moves the 1 and 2 to Ethan Leon. And Nico Ong at first base. This flies it. Sets, kicks, and delivers, and there goes the runner. Pounds it up the middle. Short stop. Makes the throw to first and gets him. So that was Ooh. number two making the play, Anthony Lapine. Some great defense here. Talk about stay with it. Thought might have had a tailor-made double play, but. Yeah, um, gets a nice jump off of first base to nullify the potential double play. Nice work. Indeed. That'll bring up number six. I think that's number six. Indeed it is. It is. It is. It's not streamed because they shut the internet off in the stadium. So we got to so we're recording it and then we're uploading it later. Sorry about that. Nah, no worries. Zong finds himself at second base and trying to get a name on this young man. I think it's David D. Olivio, number 24. Number 24 in your roster, number six in your hearts. As I finally was able to figure out the back of his jersey. Nope, O'Brien. I knew it was a letter and an apostrophe. So we don't have an O'Brien on the roster here as I keep looking up and down it. We do not. All right, well, maybe we can get something going between innings here. Yeah, we'll check that one out. Pitch is over for a strike call. 3-0 and o count. Count now moves to 3-1. On at second base with one out. Go try to pick him off again, and they do not get him. Nice job managing the run game. Again, 3-1 pitch. Breaking ball over for a strike call. Count now. Full at three and two. Again with Ong at second base in scoring position and one out. Three-two pitch. Inside corner strike call. Heck of a pitch by Flyzik. That's a tough pitch for a batter to handle. So let's take a look at it again. Spot here. Mm. Oh, nice job by the catcher too. Patch yeah. it. Hey. Good work. Patch it, buying pitches. Not wrong with that. Crafty move. All right, with two outs. Stepping to the plate is number 13, and that's Jordan Williams. 
First pitch is a big swing and a miss on a breaking ball. Start him off with a breaking ball for sure. That was nasty. Williams, a shortstop second baseman, stands at 5'10", 170 pounds at East Brunswick High School. It's 3.94 GPA. Williams bats right and throws right. You know, one pitch from Flyzik. Another breaking ball, misses the zone. Yeah. He's up at 101. 66 miles an hour on the breaking pitch. So that is driving down the road and then just pulling on that emergency brake. Or when you're driving, I'm following you with a trailer. It's like the uh, trailer brakes that we were locking up last night. That's beautiful. Oh, uh, yeah. Pitches out of the zone. So the count goes to two and one to Williams. <laughs> Quick introduction on what not to do. So you're driving down the highway. Yeah. Do one pitch. Outside for a ball. It's now three and one. And the 3-1 pitch. Swing and a miss. Some high cheddar. This count now goes to full at three and two with two outs. And they got a runner at second base and all. Three two pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out as Flyzik battles out of a little bit of a situation there. We'll watch this pitch one more time. Great job Ooh. by Flyzik. And we'll go to a break. Be back with the bottom of the second in a few. We're back here in Scranton, Pennsylvania as we move to the bottom of the second inning. Number 42, Brian Dino back on the mound for the Go Yard Gators in his second inning work. Step into the plate for the Baseball U New York squad is number 22. And that is Wyatt Patchett. Just to mention that uh, Brian Dino's battery mate is number 99, Brock Bollinger. Bollinger out of Palmerton Area High School. First pitch to Patchett. It's low for a ball. Patchett out of Geneva High School. 6'3", 205 pounds. He's a catcher, outfielder, and pitcher. Rising senior, class of 21, graduating year. 1-0 pitch is inside for ball, so the count goes to 2-0. Two pitches out of the zone. It's now 3 0. And the 3 0 pitch now moves to 2 0. In this showcase setting, 2 0 pitch. Swing and a miss. It's now two and one. Dino winds. Two one pitches outside for a ball. 
Count now moves to three and one. Three one pitch. It's back to the pitcher. Dino hands it nicely. Flips the first to Leon, and they get him. Hey, way to keep composure. Not the easiest thing to do when you got something comes right back at you, but he settles himself down real nice and moves right along. Fields his position well. That'll bring up number 24. And that's Aiden Burson. First pitch to him is over for a strike called. Burson at Casanova High School at 5'11", 185. He's a pitcher, third baseman, first baseman, and outfielder. And the 0-1 pitch is over for a strike call on a breaking ball. It's now 0-1-2 quickly to Burson. With one out here in the bottom of the second inning. And the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. And catch your calls for inside. And Bollinger throws him out. Man, it's not easy being a hitter out here at Scranton these last, uh, this last day and a half so far. I mean. Oh. <laughs> oh, pitch. Bottom drops out, man. Bottom drops out. Person huddles down and gives a hard 90, but gets thrown out by Bollinger. And here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. And stepping to the plate. It's William Ruth at Ithaca High School. Now one pitch is a breaking ball on the outside corner for a strike called. Ruth, a second baseman catcher and outfielder. It's 5'11", 155-pound rising senior. And ball hit to shortstop. Picked there nicely and throws, and they get him. And that will end this inning. Be back. And we're back here in Scranton, Pennsylvania for the fourth annual Shane Rivenberg Memorial Tournament hosted by Baseball UPA with Michael Flyzik on the mound for his third inning of work for Baseball U New York. The first batter he will face is number 99, and that is Brock Bollinger. He's working behind the dish. Bollinger is a 6'185 pound rising senior. That's a 3.7 GPA. Pitches fouled straight back and out of play. Count moves to one and one. And the one one pitch from Flyzik. Breaking ball in the dirt. Count moves to two and one. Flyzik takes his sign for Patchett and it's the pitch. Low for a ball. It's three and one. And the 
And the 3 1 pitch. Outside for a ball. So the count now moves to 2 and 1. So batter resets. That's ball. Ah, high and tight. Usually they only play the music in between innings, but a little, little chin music there. Mm hmm. Three one pitch outside for a ball. So Bollinger gets a free pass to first base. And up steps to the plate. Number nine, Jake Hendershot. Who had a single last time up. Lead off the game. First pitch to him. It's a fast ball. High inside for ball. And a shot again at 5'10", 160 pounds at a Bridgewater Raritan High School. Has a 3.45 GPA. It's a class of 21 rising senior. And there goes the runner. Here's the throw. Not in time. This Bollinger got himself a heck of a jump. Went on first movement. And uh, again, Flyzik though. Sitting consistently right around that 80 mile an hour mark with his velo, so looking good. This flies it, checks the runner and Bollinger at second. The pitch. Fastball high and in. So the count now goes to 3 0 to Hendershot. And a 3 0 pitch. Strike on the outside corner with a fastball. There's a 3 1 pitch. Inside for a ball. So the count now moves to 2 and 1. Two one pitch catches the outside corner for a strike call, so it evens up at two and two. It's working around the zone. Command is something that I, I feel like I say it so much, but man, it's so underrated, especially at this age. Ball lifted to center field. Is the center fielder coming in hard? And that's Marsh who makes the grab. As Bollinger remains at second base, unable to advance on that short fly ball. That'll be the first out of the inning. Ah, Marsh does a nice job, know where to set up defensively. Number 42, Brian Dino stepping to the plate. He's been doing a great job on the mound for the Goyard Gators. Yeah, that sidearm delivery really keeping this baseball U New York squad. First pitch is pounded to second base. Here's the throw, and they get him. This Bollinger moves up to third base on that ground out to the right side. But continues to pound the zone, though. Finding the strike zone, trusted his defense, keeping the ball down. With a runner at third base in prime scoring position, Aaron Santos steps to the plate at Bridgewater Raritan High School with two outs here in the top of the third. The first pitch to him is in the dirt for a ball. Flies sets and the 1 0 pitch. Foul to the first base side and out of play. Count goes, goes to 1 and 1 to Aaron Santos. Yeah. 
Here's the 1-1 pitch. Oh, breaking ball. It got away from Flazic a little bit. Now to the zone. It's now 2-1. As Flazic takes his sign from Patchett in the pitch. Just outside for a ball. And a 3-1 pitch. High and out of the zone. It's now going to move to 2-1. and one. Aaron Santos. At Bridgewater Raritan High School. 2-1 pitch is high and tight. Our count moves to 3-1. and one. Pitch fouled straight back. It's now 3-2. Breeze freshes things up here in the booth. <laughs> It'll uh, keep you on your toes, that's for sure. It's a big difference between the uh, sun and the shade, that's for sure. Santos earns a walk to first. Number 26, Tyler Dalshert, stepping into the plate. 5'6", 146-pound rising senior as a center fielder. as a 4.0 GPA. Chase Santos back. You got runners at first and third, and two outs at the top of the third. There goes the runner. See, here's the throw. Oh, right they on the money. Did not get him, and the run will score in Bollinger. So, Go Yard Gators pick up the first run in this ball game, and here's the replay. Big time exchange. <laughs> Catcher knew it was coming. Oh. Tag must have been, he's up in front of the bag. Up in front of the bag. No tag on that one. Hump back liner to first base, and he gets him the line out. And everybody needs to dance now. We'll go to a break and be right back in a few.
And we're back here at the bottom of the third inning. New pitcher on the mound for the Go Yard Gators is number seven, Ryan Seckman. The 6'2", 190-pound St. John Vienna High School pitcher. The rising senior it has a 4.09 GPA. First batter he will face is number 99, Samson Mishraw. Um, Mishraw. Had it right the first time. Had a guy. At a JD High School. The first pitch to him is a swing and a miss by Mishraw. 81 miles an hour. By the lefty. Pitch is low for a ball. It's now even at 1-1. One one. Mishraw, 5'10", 170 pounds. is a rising senior. He's an outfielder, third baseman, and second baseman. Carries a 4.0 GPA and an 11 at 80 PSAT score. And the 1-1 one, one pitch. Nice spot. Count. Now moves the 1-2. and two. And the 1-2 pitch. Oh, breaking ball. Just misses. 66 miles an hour. So he's got about a 14 differential between his, so far, top end velo at 80. And drop that thing back down to 66. And here's a 2-2 pitch from Seckman. Lays out that one nicely. 82 miles an hour. Climbing the ladder. And that was that was low as far as like down underneath where the knees are. So for that ball to be home in an 82 miles an hour bottom zone, that, that's a tough pitch to hit. Here's a 3-2 pitch from Seckman. Ooh, ooh, tough spot right there, and the count now moves to three and two. Oh, moves down to two and two. So that was a three-two pitch. Yeah, you had so much faith in the scoreboard operator in the stadium. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Ron Burgundy. So two-two pitch is low for a ball. It's now three and two again. So once again, I want to remind everybody if you. Draw a walk. There's actually not a traditional walk. It goes back two pitches. This time, Mishraw will walk. So he's staying consistent with the velo at 81 miles an hour. Step into play is number 27, A.J. Rothfeld of Casanova High School. Six foot three, one hundred ninety-five pound rising junior. It's three point two GPA, and the first pitch is a swing and a miss. Count zero and one to AJ Rafael. Seckman checks the runner, and the zero one pitch over for a strike call. And it's now zero and two. Nice job using the. The exaggerated knee pause holding that runner. And the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck out Rothfeld. So that'll be the first out of the inning. And up steps to the Look plate. This. Oh, nice pitch. Yeah. Oh, that's a real nice pitch. So he's confident working the bottom half of that zone. Keeps hammering away. Number 33, Ethan Hunt steps to the plate out of Oswego High School. 5'10", 160-pound rising senior. He's an outfielder, third baseman, and pitcher. Now 82 from a velo standpoint. So he's been sitting there pretty consistent in that 81, 82 area. Swing and a miss by Hunt on an 81 mile an hour fastball. Segment sets, checks the runner, kicks and delivers. Pitch is fouled straight back. So the count moves quickly to one and two to Ethan Hunt. 
Hunt had himself a nice evening last night under the lights. Good game in the back end of the doubleheader. I don't think it would be an impossible mission for him to work out of this one-two count. Do you? Ah, uh, well, that's funny because you. you I said it differently, and you did. I said it differently. Breaking my stones about it. it. Now you steal it today. Yeah. Okay, I see. Nope. Breaking nope. Oh. ball, swinging a miss. Great pitch by Seckman, and maybe we can get this one again on replay. Yeah, slow this one down, Josh. This is a dandy of a pitch. Look at this. Mm. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah. Yahtzee. Oh, pitch gets by Bollinger. As Mishroll will move up to second base. At the plate is number two, Anthony Lapine, who has a 1 0 count. Has some heads up base running. As soon as he's seen a sign of it being in the dirt, he was. Skedaddling up to second base. Ball lifted to right field, falling quickly, and it is a base hit to right field. Coming to score is Mishraw. And Baseball U New York is now on the board as they tie this one up at one apiece. Drove it up. RBI opportunity executing it with, with flair. Nice short hop, though, by the right fielder. Yeah, good fundamental baseball all around so far today. Take it. Now at the plate is C.J. Levine. He bounces one up the middle. Second baseman flips to the shortstop at second. And he'll get the force out. And that will do it for the bottom of the third inning. We'll go to the top of the fourth. Be back right after this break. And we're back as we move to the top of the fourth inning here at PNC Field with Michael Flyzek getting his fourth inning to work. First batter he will face from the Go Yard Gators is number 14, Nico Ong. First pitch to Ong. Just a bit low. It's Ong out of Bloomfield High School. Class of 21, rising senior. As the 1 0 pitch is outside and low for a ball. This flies it, takes his sign from Patchett, winds, kicks, and delivers. Just a bit high inside. It's now 3-0 and to Nico Ong. And the 3-0 pitch. Ball pounded the second. Picked there nicely on a short hop. Throws and gets him. 
as Ang got down the line. A hard 90. Make that play very close. Let's see this one on replay. That brings up Ethan Leone. The first pitch to him is out of the zone for a ball. Leone, the class of 22 rising junior, fouls that one to the right side and out of play. Stands at six foot, 385 pounds. He's a pitcher, first baseman, catcher. 3.95 GPA. That's Ball lifted to center field. Play made there nicely by Marsh. Are you sure that was Ethan Leone? I guess it was. Because on here it says he bats left and throws left, and he was batting right-handed. All right. Well, nonetheless, there's only 117 on the roster, so we'll go with it. So that's the second out of the inning. And stepping into play is number six. Is O'Brien, which we have not gotten his name. I'm sorry, I have to go back to the dugout this next half inning and get that information. Oh, breaking ball over for a strike call. So the count is quickly 0 oh, and 2 to O'Brien. Flies it working quickly in this top of the fourth inning. Swinging to miss. He struck him out, and that will end. The top of the fourth, and we'll take a look at it real quick. And this high cheddar to strike out O'Brien. And we will go to a break and be right back. And we're back at the fourth annual Shane Rivenberg Memorial Tournament here at PNC Field in Scranton, Pennsylvania. The pitcher on the mound once again is Ryan Seckman, who had a heck of a inning last inning, who stands at 6'2", 190 pounds at a St. John Vianney High School. First pitch to Michael Flyzik is high for a ball. Seckman has a 4.09 GPA. So he faces his pitching opponent in Michael Flyzik, who stands at six foot, 190 pounds. Class of 22 rising junior. He has a 94 GPA. And the 2-0 pitch is high for a ball. It's now 3-0. Staying consistent here around the 80 mile an hour mark. Pitch lifted foul to the first base side and out of play. We had him on the gun uh, last inning, flashing at 83. It's got some stuff to second. Really does. Swing and a miss by Marsh. 
Count now goes the full three and two. Staying relaxed and going through his mechanics. That one just missed on the outside. Count now moves to two and two in the showcase setting. Two two pitch. Line drive. Gets by the shortstop and lands safely to left field. It's Flyzik. It's a leadoff base runner here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Ah, nice piece of hitting there. Was patient, found his pitch, and line drive to left center field. And the baseball U New York crew is in business. That'll bring up number 22, Wyatt Patchett. Uh, Geneva High School, standing at 6'3", 205. First pitch to him is a high fastball out of the zone for a ball. Second sets, checks a runner. He fakes the go, and there he goes. Ball Dribbled, uh, dribbled. Okay. It was supposed to be dribbled or. <laughs> I better check myself. Yeah. Anybody, anybody want to <laughs> walk down the line here? <laughs> you got a line you want to? Uh, uh, walk? Yeah, you fucking this morning. Yeah, not good. <laughs> I didn't think the bars open. It's great yeah. until way in the afternoon, but yeah. apparently you started early. Got now even at one and one to patch it. <laughs> it was supposed to be topped and dribbled. And I went, oh. <laughs> Second sets. Oh, nice move the first. They've got him in a rundown. Here's the throw. Oh, they hit him in the back, so he'll get there safely. All right. So flies it. Take one for the team. It's a replay. It's a nice move by Sekman. Yep, the old fake look away. Oh, actually, I don't think it uh, did hit him. It got it in the glove and it popped out. All right, so a runner at second base in Marsh with nobody out. A golden opportunity for Patchett. Big swing and a miss. The count goes to two and two. To the big catcher out of Geneva High School. And, oh, Sekman does the swinging gate. Chase back. Flyzik back, I'm sorry, Marsh back to second base. Swing and a miss on a foul tip, actually. And Bollinger holds on for the strikeout. Nice job by Bollinger on this tough one here. Foul tip out. Squeezes it nicely. So now Marsh at second base. There's now one out. Number 24, Aiden Burson. Takes the first pitch for strike called. Second sets, checks the runner a couple times. Wheels over there, and he's got him in a rundown again. Oh, boy. Here we go. They chase him back, and the tag is put on, and they get him. So, Sekman. We call it runner management, like you uh, like to say? Yeah, he's doing a heck of a job in that office today. So he's like, oh, man, not again. 
Where she's like, I got my hand caught in a cookie jar as Ong tosses back. and <laughs> Not much you can do. Well down. executed, though. Especially by a third baseman, Ong, you know, taking him back. Don't let him get to the next base. Worst case scenario, send him back to where he came from. And even better, they got the out. So we're down with two outs in inning. Burson takes that ball low. So it's now one and one. Person does it all. Pitches, plays third base, first base. So he likes the corners, and then he can work the outfield. Yeah. I think he may want to try his hand in the middle of the field, too, maybe. Do it all. <laughs> Why not? Ooh. Caught his hand. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think it's it actually two a foul for ball. one. Yeah. I think he got his hand and the catcher. Mm. Tough spot to to be in there. Count now one and two to Burson. Again with two out here in the bottom of the fourth inning. The absolutely picturesque PNC field in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Here's the one two pitch. Oof. That just missed. This count now evens up at two and two. And the 2-2 pitch from Sekman fouls it straight back at the net. Count remains at 2-2. Two and two. On a chilly autumn day here in October. So I'm struggling to stay warm. Ball Chop back to Sekman, who fields it nicely and throws and gets him. And that will end the inning. And we'll go to a break. And be back in a few. We move to the top of the fifth here at PNC Field with a new pitcher on the mound for Baseball U New York, and that's Anthony Lapine. Number two out of Liverpool High School, 5'10", 140 pounds, is a class of 21 rising senior. First batter he will face is number 13, and that is Jordan Williams. The first pitch misses a mark for a ball. It's 1-0. Williams, the shortstop second baseman. As he foul tips that one and goes off the 
umpire. So Patchett will buy some time for the umpire to gather himself. Again, Jordan Williams, as I was saying, is 5'10", 170 pounds at the East Brunswick High School. The shortstop second baseman has a 3.94 GPA. One-on-one -on -one count to Jordan Williams. Lapine gets his sign, kicks and delivers. Which is over for a strike call. So the count moves to one and two to Jordan Williams. And the one-two pitch. Foul tipped again to plate. This count remains one and two. Breaking ball just a bit low. Count evens up at two and two. Supply and kicks and delivers on the 2 2 pitch. Pitch is lifted foul and out of play to the first base side. Actually, didn't fall out of play. Just landed just short of the, of the stands. Count remains two and two. To Jordan Williams. And the 2 2 pitch. Breaking ball. Fouled away and behind us. Here's the 2 2 pitch. Fastball just misses outside. Count goes the full at three and two. And a three two pitch. Breaking ball, low and away. So the count now resets in this showcase setting to two and two. All pounded foul at the plate. The count. Will remain at two and two to Jordan Williams. Here we go, so the pine sets, kicks, and delivers on the two two pitch, swinging a miss. He struck him out. So pine goes down swinging. And with one out, step into the plate. Is Brock Bollinger. The first pitch to Bollinger. Fastball lifted to the first base side. The second baseman makes the call and makes the grab. And I believe that was Samson Marshall. Or my shrawl, I should say. Looked like that was him. And it is. It was number 99, Samson Mishrawl making the play at second base. A real nice job by him. 5'10", 170 pounds. And with two out, that brings up number nine. That's Jake Hendershot. Takes the first pitch over for a strike call. And the one pitch. Lifted the right field. The right fielder gets back and under it and makes the grab. And that was number 33, Ethan Hunt, making the catch. And that will end this inning. We'll go to a break. Be back with the bottom of the fifth. And sure a few.
All right, we're back as we move to the bottom of the fifth inning. We've got a new pitcher on the mound for the Gators. That is Josh, Joshua Miller, number 12, out of Valley Central High School. 5'10", 180-pound rising senior, 4.0 GPA. And the first pitch to Michael Bowler. It's a bit outside for a ball out of Geneva High School. Bowler stands at 6'2", 185 pounds. The 1-0 pitch is outside for ball, so it's now 2-0 to Bowler. Bowler pops that one straight back. Bowler is listed primarily as a pitcher, getting an opportunity to hit here. He carries a 3.6 GPA. It's a rising senior. And a 2-1 pitch. On the outside corner for a strike call. So it evens up at 2-2. Two and two. And a 2-2 two -two pitch. Breaking ball hangs up there for a ball. Yeah, Bowler showing some patience here. Indeed he is. Especially being a leadoff hitter in an inning. Ooh. The old on, anyway on. Count now moves down to two and two after earning a four balls. And the 2-2 pitch is outside for a ball, so it's now 3-2. and two. Seventy nine mile an hour fastball out of the zone, and Ruth draws a walk. That was William Ruth. Samson Meister on the plate. Ball bounced back to the pitcher. Going to have to hustle to try to get him at first, and he does it. It's a tough one to handle. Real tough one to handle. He had to go up the ladder a little bit. Yeah, he had to get vertical. So uh, you know, basketball season getting ready to kick off at the college level. and well, What else are you going to do? But Miller had to show some hops, but that's a tough one. So. Great legs by Marshall to leg it out and finds himself at first base safely. Stepping into play is A.J. Rothfielder swings and misses the first pitch. Breaking ball just misses outside for a ball. The count evens up at 1-1 one one to Rothfield. At Casanova High School, 6'3", 195 pounds. And a 1-1 pitch. Swing and a miss. Some high cheddar. 80 miles an hour coming out of Miller's hand. He sets. And the 1-2 pitch. 81 mile an hour fastball just misses the zone. And evens up at two and two. So Miller checks his sign. And a two-two pitch. Breaking ball just misses at 73 miles an hour. So Miller working with a full count against Rothfeld. Count now full, and here's the three-two pitch. Swing and a miss on an 80 mile an hour. Fastball, it looked like it dropped out of the zone. Here's a replay. Let's see what this is here. Oh, just stayed there. Nice yeah, pitch. Man. Living Great on the spot. edge. Living right there on the edge. Ethan Hunt steps to the plate. 
First pitch to him. Oh, snap throw out of second. They got him. Or possibly get him. Here's the throw. Yes, sir. And they do get him. Great job by – is that Bollinger behind a dish? Yeah, great heads up nice defense job. here. Let's watch this one again. No Did hesitation. Sees him cheating a little bit, and he's like, no way. I'm going to throw – actually threw behind him. Got him in a rundown. Well, they do. Nice job. All right. Nice look job. at you. Play-by-play play and color commentator. Yep, I'm just here for the ride. Anybody need a drink? I'm going to go get one. <laughs> I'll catch you next time when you're doing play-by-play, play, which you happen to do quite a bit. That's all right. I don't know how. You don't stop talking, man. I'm surprised you actually have a voice at the end of an eight-hour shift like, uh, like that. Listen, I'm trying to earn my keep at the uh, $3.50 an hour I, got, I get <laughs> below minimum wage. I, I, don't, I don't know who gave you a raise. <laughs> Ball pounded is short. Tough one to handle. And Hunt will beat it out. Definitely one of those slow dribblers that the shortstop had to come all the way around and wheel around. Makes it pretty tough to handle. So with two outs, I'll bring up Anthony Lapine. So we're in the bottom of the fifth inning, a 1-1 score. First pitch is a swing and a miss by Lapine. At a Liverpool High School. It's Miller gets his sign from Mullinger, sets in the pitch. Fastball on the outside corner, they do it again. Are you kidding me? Oh, they had him too. Uh, I think Cody just got hit with the ball, actually. <laughs> Did he? Yeah, the camera moved. <laughs> <laughs> so and no one's checking him, so he must be okay. No one's looking. No yeah, one's checking I on him. I'll, I guess I'll. Ugh. It's a run of score there, and uh, my brother from another Doug Stassic will go and check on our cameraman, Cody Skywalker Higginbotham. Not a great, not like a throwdown again by the catcher who had him, but unfortunately the exchange from second to third. There's a ball cued to second base. Second baseman charges and throws, and they get him. Run will not count. And Ethan Hunt. So they do pick up one run here in the bottom of the fifth inning. And we'll go to a break and be back on the top of the sixth. Right after this break. All right, we're back here at PNC Field as we move to the top of the sixth inning. As Anthony Lapine moves back on the mound for Team Baseball U New York. 
The first batter he will face is number 42, and that is Brian Dino, who was on the mound earlier today. Six foot five, 220 pound rising senior at a Morris Catholic High School. It's a 3.97 GPA. He's a first baseman and a pitcher. No one pitch outside for a ball. The count goes to one and one to Brian Dino at a Morris Catholic High School. So I already said that before, but I'd like to say it again. <laughs> Here's the one-one pitch. I start motoring, man. The math keeps going. I just keep repeating myself. So pitch is fouled to the first base side and out of play. So the count moves to one and two to Brian Dino. Bind gets a sign from Patchett. Winds, kicks, and delivers. Foul straight back again. And just misses our crack producer, Josh Davidson. Maybe he knocked some sense into him if it hit him. <laughs> so the count remains one and two to Brian Dino. And a one-two pitch. Breaking ball. Pounded up the middle. Gets through for a base hit. Had eyes, as they say. So Dino is a leadoff base runner here in the top of the sixth inning. And that will bring up Aaron Santos at the Bridgewater Raritan High School. The class of 21 rising senior has a 3.8 GPA, stands at 5'9", 160 pounds. And his position is infield, so it looks like he plays them all. First pitch is a fastball high and tight to him. Get a runner at first base in Brian Dino, who takes his lead. Big 6'5", 220-pounder. So Pine goes there and almost gets him on a close play. Here's 1-0 pitch. Fastball swing and a miss by Santos on a high fastball. Counts now one and one to him. So you're in the top of the six in the seven inning game or an hour and 50 minute hard end. The one one pitch is over for a strike call with a fastball. It's now one and two to Santos. Oh, quick throw over to first. Not in time on a close play. We don't have that on replay, do we? Oh, son of a gun. All right. Oh, breaking ball. Struck him out on the outside corner as Santos goes down looking. A great pitch by Lapine. So we're one out. Dino at first. Now I bring up number 26, Tyler Darshut. The 5'6", 156-pound rising senior at a Hackettstown High School. Triples one to third. Here's the throw. Not in time as the ball gets by the first baseman. And the runners will move up to second and third base with only one out. And a little rally going on for the Goyard Gators in the sixth inning. Now Nico Ong with an opportunity to knock some runners in with runners in scoring position. And the first pitch from Lapine as he checks the runners, as he kicks and delivers. It's a fastball, 81 miles an hour, fouled to the first base side. Count 0-1 to Ong. Breaking ball over for a strike call. Nice pitch by Lapine. 
That breaking ball came in at 72 miles an hour. Again, Dino at third base. Dalshirt at second. So Pine sets, gets his sign from Patchett. And the 0-2 pitch. Oh, and did he offer? He did not. Wrong check this swing. Count now one and two to Nico Ong. As Lapine resets and looks for another set of signs from Patchett. And they agree on one. Here's the one two pitch to Nico Ong. Ball pounded up the middle. It's got eyes, and it gets through for a base hit. As Dino will score, and here comes Dolcher. Here comes the throw, and they get him at home. But not before the Gators put another run on the board to tie this one up at 2-2. Here's a replay as the ball has eyes up the middle. Nice job with the relay home. The one hopper to get him. Now that's some ball right there. Yes, it is. Good job there, but they tie it up here in the top of the six, and Ethan Leon now steps to the plate. What a runner at second base. Pitch fouled to the first base side and out of play. Leon stands at 6'3", 185 pounds. Class of 22, rising junior, has a 3.95 GPA. Slapine takes a sign for Patchett. Went on taking his lead at second. He chases him back. He steps off the rubber. No one pitch. Pop to the first base side. Actually in right field as the right fielder comes in hard and makes the grab. And that will end the inning. We'll go to the bottom of six. Be back after this break. And welcome back to PNC Field, home of the Yankees Double A Rail Riders, and today's Ribbonburg Memorial matchup between the Go Yard Gators and Baseball U New York for BFA Sports. I'm Doug Stasic joined alongside my brother from another Al Fisher. As Joshua Miller's first pitch offering of the inning is fouled off out of play down the right field side by CJ Levine. As my brother from another Al Fisher, probably holding up a food truck somewhere, I'm sure. 
as it is 12:30, and he looked down and still was amazed that he had all of his digits. So it's gonna bring swing and a miss. 0-2 count now to Levine out of C square, five foot ten rising senior. As Miller goes to work quick. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and Miller's first strikeout here of the inning. Put out pitch was a good one. Low and in right at the ankles. Not going to be able to hit that one, but you probably got to swing at it down 0-2. All right, and that'll bring to the plate number seven. Other than Adam Marsh, as a foul ball makes its way uh, over to Fungo's screen and into the booth. It's funny, I look at Marsh and he has like a Hunter Pence like build to him. Wiry frame, but gets it done, especially out there in the outfield defensively. So Miller now continues the deal at a feverish pace. 2 2, and why not make it 2 3? Second strikeout of the inning, and Josh Miller. Creating himself a mini highlight package here. In the blink of an eye, he's got two strikeouts in the inning. It brings up Wyatt Patchett from Geneva. Up there in the Finger Lakes wine country. And Miller continues to stay pretty consistent right around that 78 mile an hour mark with his fastball. Seventy-nine miles an hour on the corner, just misses. Patch it with two outs, finds himself ahead in the count, two and one. Make it three and one. So Miller now is taking an opportunity to reset. He fires. Yeah, that one's not going to feel so great for uh, Bollinger, especially with a little chill going in the air. But that catcher's done a nice job thus far today and not going to let this one slow him down. Now full count to patch it. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Swing and a miss. He strikes him out. And Miller strikes out the side and... With a full count, goes inside, swing and a miss. So we will step away from PNC Field. Be right back.
And it is time for the final frame here in Scranton. As the Goyard Gators step to the dish and back for another inning of work on the hill for New York is Lapine. Lapine. I think Ada was going Lapine. And he's going to waste no time as O'Brien swings and misses at the first pitch offering. And quickly, Lapine finds himself ahead here. Oh, and two. Seventy one mile an hour offering. Low and away. Now one two count. Eighty two miles an hour. The fastball for Lapine. As he decides to take it slightly upstairs, up and in, and ball tails away across just the outside middle of the plate. One in the books. So the first pitch to Jordan Williams out of East Brunswick High School misses for a ball, middle infielder, class of 21. Is fouls the offering off from Lapine, evens the count at one and one. Eighty mile an hour fastball hits for a called strike, one and two. Now to Jordan Williams. Gets a hold of the breaking ball out of the outstretched arms of the second baseman. Great effort and hustle. This one's going to drop in for a base hit. So it finds a piece of real estate. So Williams, all smiles, takes the outside pitch, flares it to the right side, and what an awesome effort out there by number nine. believe that's Ruth. Job. Great job there by Will Ruth. As he gathers himself. And he's good to go. All right, so moving along. The catcher, Brock Bollinger. Rising senior. Lapine. Keeping Williams and me honest. Trying to keep up with what's going on over there. First base with two outs. Well, the socially, socially, socially distanced fans thought that perhaps the pine caught him leaning. Runner goes. Ball's fouled back into the screen behind home plate. In the BFA 10. And Williams is looking a bit runnerish down there at first as he throws the batting gloves off into foul territory. So we'll go side by side here. Lapine feeling it too as he checks him back again at first. And Brock Bollinger with one out. It's hoping to get him moving. And they call him out. Let's see what we got here. So, quick pickoff move as we get a look from Lapine and yeah, that throw is right on the money. So back to the live action. There's Bollinger now working the count. It's one ball and a strike. Pine upstairs misses. Two 
two one count now. All right, make it two balls and a strike. Ball misses upstairs. Now three and one, favorable count to Bollinger. Swing and a miss. So two outs and a two two count. Lapine. Another victim, and that'll end this frame as we head to the bottom of the seventh. But before we do, one more look at Lapine's put-out pitch to end the top of the seventh. And we'll be back from Scranton. It's time for the final half frame here for game number four in the Ribbenberg Memorial Showcase Tournament hosted by Baseball U Pennsylvania, VFA Sports, Doug Stasek, and joined alongside my brother from another, Al Fisher, and our producer extraordinaire, Josh Davidson. So we are ready as Aiden Burson will dig in. Facing off against the new pitcher, number 26. And that's Dalchert. Southpaw. Dalchert kicks and fires to Burson. And quickly, Dalchert works ahead here. 0-2. Grounder to the first base side. And it'll be a 4-3 put out in the books on the 78-mile-an-hour fastball. Number 
Nice work by the Gator defense. And Dochert showing some appreciation for his second baseman. As William Ruth digs in with one out in the bottom of the seventh. Ruth, five foot eleven out of Ithaca. Senior, second baseman, catcher, outfielder. 79 mile an hour offering from Dalchert. Misses out of the zone. It's now two balls and no strikes. It's the baseball tonight ringtone. Chimes in on my phone. Always love to see when it's spam. Now, three balls, no strikes, and usually in a showcase format, we usually see a bunch of green lights, and I would assume that is going to be the case here for Ruth. So that ball misses, and it's now going to be 3-0, 2-0. Goes back to two balls and no strikes. But it'll be all fastballs. Now two and one to Ruth. Seventy eight mile an hour offering from Daughter. Now three and one for the reset count. Swing and a miss. Makes it now full. 78 mile an hour offering. And that ball is fouled back just behind home field into the bleachers here at PNC Field, home of the Scranton Wilkes Bar. Rail Riders, double A affiliate of the New York Yankees. And strikes them out looking. So, ball low, but just crosses here in the corner. Nice put out pitch by Dalchert. Yes, sir. Right at the knees. That's going to bring up nine, number 99. And that's Sampson. Mishral. Is now two outs in the bottom of the seventh. Grounder to short, and that one is going to find its way through the infield. So with two outs, baseball you New York. With a little bit of a extra lease here on this game number three. No, game four. All right, so now A.J. Rothfeld. He'll get an opportunity with two outs and his teammate at first. First pitch swing and miss at a 76-mile-an-hour fastball. One strike on the batter. Now 0-2. Nice job here. Living on the edge. As Dalchert rocking the flat brim hat. Trying to keep. Got to throw down a second. And a stolen base. Big jump there by Samson. Is now with two outs in a tie game, 2-2. Two, two, what would be the proverbial game winner. And that is a foul tip third strike. That one will close out the chapter 
end this game. So nice job by Dolcher to come in here and get it closed out. And game four is going to be in the books.